themed highlight. Kevin Brown, Mike Piazza, go away. Top of the fifth, Mets trail 1-0. Roger Cedeno on second. Kevin Brown to Ray Ordonez. Ordonez the chop right back to Brown. Turn and fire, and there's a lot of tags out Cedeno. Bobby Valentine wondering what the heck was that going on. Top of the sixth, one out. Kevin Brown now facing Olerud, and Olerud with the routine grounder to short. Grudzelanek oh, charges and misses error, and Olerud safe at first. Next batter, Mike Piazza, and... Oh, I think he knew it as soon as he hit it. Deep out and gone. A two-run shot is 34th. Mets up 2-1. Bottom seven, Gary Sheffield trying to even the game. Listen in to Gary Thorne now. That one to deep right field, way back, trying to tie the game. Goodbye, home run. No, he caught it. He did catch it. Roger Cedeno saving the day, atoning for the egregious base running error. Bottom nine, two on, two out. Armando Benitez tells Eric Carros this ball game is O-V-E-R. And the Mets hang on to win it three to one. So Oral Hershiser picks up the victory. He's now three and two lifetime against the Dodgers. He pitching. Padres Ben Davis flies out to center field. Okay, count along with me. That's an out. Colvio Veras to Chris Widger behind the plate. He gets Widgey with it, makes the catch. That's out number two. Reggie Sanders strikes out. That is out number three. Nobody in the umpiring crew and none of the nine Expos on the field realize it. So after three pitches to Phil Nevin, home plate up Jerry Lane says, wait a minute. I think we're doing this not correctly. The Expos confirm Lane there are three outs. He later said it was pure embarrassment. Nevin enjoys a laugh and he later said, quote, maybe they do things differently. Also trying to become the 14th player to drive in 100 with three different teams. And the first, with the bases empty, he is induced to a pop-up, but he would have more chances. Speaking of Cal, did you know the AL record for most double plays grounded into is held by Cal Ripken Jr. and Carl Yastrzemski with 323. Cal tying that mark Wednesday, top of the third, one out, well, runner on first. It. Ripken slaps the ball to first, but Ron Coomer double clutches, and Cal is safe. He's out of the record books for now. Move to the seventh inning, runner on third for Albert Bell. Chops the Hector Carrasco Shot pitch to third. Brent Gates cannot make the play. Jerry Hairston scores, and there it is. Bell's eighth consecutive 30 homer, 100 RBI season. And then the next batter, Cal Ripken, with a runner on first. Ladies and gentlemen, five, four, three, double play. Cal Ripken breaks the AL record, grounding into his 324th double play. He trails Hank Aaron by four for the major league record. We should also tell you he got career hit number 2,974. Garcia has some space, though. He's back at the track. Just an out. Some foreshadowing, though. Bottom of two. Injury trouble here for the Devil Rays. Fred McGriff aggravated a left quadricep injury. Laying out the double there, but had to leave the game. Later in the inning, Bubba Trammell. Similar problems. Awkward there and sprains his left ankle. Leaves the game. Both McGriff and Trammell day to day. Bottom of five, Ken Seiko against Matt Anderson. El Asuna Grande Hombre. His 32nd home run. Not in this game. That would be a record. The final 5 3 Devil Rays winners. Ken Seiko's homer is first since July 8th. Injury. It was a windy day. Any part of the, ball the day when baseballs would fall line. a lot, now, like this. Lance Johnson has it. For the wall. Boat! And then the wind and just falls because the wind carrying a little deep. It's for a double. Now the red center fielder, Mike Cameron, similar trouble. He doesn't have it either. That's going to be a triple. We're to the fifth. Cubs up 2 nothing. Sammy Sosa against Pete Harnish. Pitch. Home run. You all right? Home run. I've been out of practice. 59 <laughs> in team game number 140. Last year's 59th came in team game number 148. Sixth inning, still 3-0. Dimitri Young's over at third. Reds with a couple of infield hits in the inning. And there's a little chopper going to get through. Aaron Boone knocks home Young. Cubs lead is cut to 3-1. Greg to one. Vaughn, far and deep. Fans like that, and they stay looking for another. They want Sammy to go there again. In the ninth, Cubs down 5-3. The closer, Danny Gray's wiffle ball, it curves. And the Reds win it 5-3. Sosa, though, is one home run shy of becoming the first player ever to hit 60 or more home runs in two different seasons. More on him shortly. The sixth, now they have a dry baseball and Daryl Ward against Paul Bird. This game well attended. Seventh of the season, Astros up 1-0. To the eighth, tied at one, Steve Montgomery against Ken Caminiti. And even with derogatory credit, you can own a brand new car. It's ninth of the year. Astros up 3-1. Eighth inning still 3-1. Billy Wagner is Rico Bronia. Gets Bronia to go to second. Biggio almost threw it away, but 
the Astros escape and get the out. Ninth inning, Wagner against Doug Glanville. And that's just another case of the man keeping us down. The Astros win it by a count of three to one. And the Astros are winners for the seventh straight time. All of them on the road for extra bases, including his three home run game. All of this with a bulging disc in his back. Hate to see what he could do healthy. Hate to see what it would take to choke down one of those things. Bottom second, Brewers up 4-0, one on. Jeremy Burnitz takes Armando Reynoso for a ride. A two-run shot is 29th homer. Burnitz with six RBI, the Brewers up 6-0. Top of the sixth, Scott Carl to Matt Williams. Deep to center, but Marquise Grissom in front of literally no one in center field. Great catch. Years from now, thousands will clamor about the day they were there and saw that. Sox chances, Pedro was on the hill, and he was cruising, playing groundskeeper. Mowing down New York, Bernie Williams. That's a curve, and you're done one of your 2Ks. Ricky Lede, three times I got you. Tino Martinez, heater, no shot. Struck out once. Chili Davis, homered earlier, frozen here. He struck out twice. Paul O'Neill now against Pedro. I'm sorry this isn't your lucky day. Daryl Strawberry pinch hitting. Pinch this. He struck out once. Chuck Knobloch comes up in the ninth as the only Yankee not to strike out. Scratch that. 17 Ks and a one-hitter for Pedro as Boston comes in and whacks the Yankees 3-1. to one. Pedro 17, a career high, and the most was on it, facing Miguel Cairo, split me with a strike three. Two batters later, Jose Canseco, split me with a strike three. For your next batter, Herbert Perry, no. Strikes out the side. He had 11 Ks on the night. That matches a career high. Top of the four, scoreless. Jason Jambi facing Wilson Alvarez, and that's out deep and gone. Number 29 on the year. A's go up 1-0, a lead they would not relinquish. Winning 7-2, to two. so Tudson racks up his eighth straight decision. And Tigers now bottom nine, game tied at six. Bases loaded for Juan Encarnacion facing John Frascatore. Encarnacion single to center. Here comes Frank Catalanano, and he's in with the game winner. The Tigers win at 7-6. Jim Fergosi's bullpen blows another one after seeing one slip away in Seattle. Detroit comes back from a 5-2 deficit to Ellerton in the first uh, facing pitch. Sammy. No, struck him out. We move to the top eight, Brian Williams, Sosa, no. How about the top 13, game tied at four, Billy Wagner, no. Sosa 0 for 6, 3 Ks, struck out by three different pitchers. Bottom of the 13th, tied at four, Jeff Bagwell is pictured on first. Carl Everett takes Bobby Ayala deep, out and gone. Two run homer, thanks for coming tonight, don't forget where you parked. Is second of the game, 23rd of the year, and the Strohs win at 6-4. to four. For Houston, their eighth straight win. That a home run, Harold. Well, first. Usually you don't say that about shortstop thinking it's that big a deal. This guy, though, he's a 30-30 type of man right here. Barry says, so what about that 72? <laughs> Later. He liked it. Ed Talbotsy waiting on that. Next on Springer. That's not Dennis Springer. Waited for the knuckler. Put it out. Another deck. Two-run job. 18th of the year for Talbotsy. It's three zip. Bottom of the ninth. It's up 4-2. Alex Gonzalez to Danny Graves. He goes down in pain there. Got the final out. Graves would get it done with the save, earned it, went in. Two out, two runners on for Mark McGuire. St. Louis up 8-5. He has big muscles. A three-run home run, 55th. He's going to get his name in the paper. McGuire goes two for three, and the Cards win. Show them what they've won. A Major League Baseball game. It took four attempts, but Kent Bottenfield had playing this time in the fourth. One zip. Harold Baines, runners That's at the corner. He doubles. Two runs coming. And this thing continues. Sandy Alomar singles. Baines comes to score. Two batters later, it's Omar Vizquel. Little O having a good season. Three runs score. Three batters later, Baines again. He walks. Vizquel comes in. Next batter, Jim Tomey. Not there. Roberto Alomar walks home. Bases loaded. Next batter, Dave Justice. Far and distant. Grand slam to right. 12 runs in the fourth. Indians beat him up 14 to 6. And Bartolo Colon not pictured. Now 16 and 5. Got a boatload of support. The grand slam by Justice, the Ted AL West lead. Mike Sweeney against Mike Morgan. Up the middle. And that's fancy. Royce Clayton there diving. Good hose across. Royals, though, do win this game 7 to 3. He just tried to trick you with the shot of that. Mandy Lopez, good for three hits, three RBI. Bottom 12. This game was deadlocked at four. Mike Bordick facing Robert Ramsey. And Mike Bordick says, I would like to go home now. Deep to left center. And it's gone. Game winner. O's win it 5-4 to four in 12 innings. By the way, in this game, Cal Ripken. 4-4. Four for four. He's now 22 hits shy of 3,000. Falling apart also. Now the Phillies and Diamondbacks right here. That's the unit. 
And he's chopping Brock alive. Doug Glanville, he's leaving. That's more beer for us. Scoreless till the fourth. Arubio Dorazo ripping that pitch, driving in Matt Williams. He's coming. The Diamondbacks take a 1 0 lead. Now 3 1. Diamondbacks in the ninth. Tying run of the plate. Johnson on the mound. Little chopper. Alex Arias grounding out. Hanley Frias will end it. And the Diamondbacks win it. 3 1. Johnson, 11 complete games, best in the majors. Rich Aurelia. Two runner on. Little chopper. Brett Boone. Jose Hernandez. Malo. Ellis Burks come to score. The air on Hernandez tied at two. Eighth inning, Russ Ortiz against Greg Myers. Runners at second and third. Ortiz pitch. Pass Brent Maine. No relation to Rigaberg. Bong Yong Song. Shipper Jones come to score. Three two Braves. Show them what they've won. A Major League Baseball game, four to two. Remling. Fourth inning, Dodgers up one nil. Darren Dreifert. Ray Ordonez chopping Brock alive. Ricky Henderson, that's a case of the man keeping him down. Dodgers up 2-1. Billy Taylor against Raul Mondesi. And everyone throw your hands in the air and wave them around as though there are no repercussions. His 29th, though not in this game. Dreifert goes eight innings, and he's your man. Gives up four hits, one run. Fifth career, fifth consecutive start rather Thursday, making sure there are less than three outs when Phil Nevin comes to play. There were... And that thing is deep, 24th, second of the night. Padres go 5-0 and win it by a count 